And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second trial for our expedition today. We got six wins with that first one. Ugh, so close to that seven win mark, but we didn't beat the final boss. That was a tough, hard fought six wins for sure. The games were very difficult, intense. Uh, we were win one, lose one, win one, lose one. Basically, as you see our final record of six and five. Um, it was a real good long expedition. So if you missed that one, I hope you check that one out on YouTube. But let's begin our second trial. We'll have some help with Twitch chat voting. What, uh, what role should we go? All of these are pretty interesting. I've always done well with Noxus decks, um, and you know Darius, Trifarian, Glory Seeker, are both great cards. Reckoning is a card that I um, am more impressed with. Uh, basically, it's it's better than I thought it would be. Like whenever I played it, we go Ezreal, and probably make a really sweet deck with Ezreal. Um, and that this is somewhere we were actually just talking about this a little bit ago. I haven't really made, I haven't really drafted an Ezreal deck before, to be honest. And we get a good removal spell with Thermogenic Beam along with it. And Eager Apprentice is a card that I'm always satisfied with also. Like that that extra spell mana is really nice. So you get to play it as basically a free 2-1 whenever you're casting these spells. And then this third column is awesome. I mean, Zed is obviously a, a great uh champion and then shadow assassin is a card that's amazing like you see shadow assassin everywhere all over constructed 2-2 two, two elusive draw card is amazing so these are all good these are all good so yeah y'all y'all vote if you're in the chat where do you want us to go let's get the let's get these votes on i'm gonna let you know we already got we already have a six win trial uh banked in here so we're we're gonna be doing pretty good i'm gonna let uh twitch chat vote and um, see where the votes take us. Pool says that Zed with double with two assassins though, and Melver goes double assassin hype. Yeah, all right. Looks like this vote is going far and away. So all right, well, it looks like we're going double assassin. So what are we going to pair Ionia with? Are we pairing? Our Zed double shadow assassin with Callista, another three mana champion. Ethereal Remitter, which is a really good card. Kill an ally to summon a random follower from any region that costs two more. Um, killing these shadow assassins to create five drops it could be really nice also. And Ravenous Butcher, which, eh, don't love. We have Ash, which is super strong. I do really like Ash. Harsh Winds, which is amazing, and Icy Yeti, which is a pretty good 7-drop. So a lot of power there. Or we go very aggressive. Draven, also a good champion. Rear Guard's a great 1-drop. It's good to have 1-drops. And then Trifarian, another great 3-drop. So, you know, kind of hammer home these these 3s and everything. Reptile says the Ash package is great. And that's what that's what looks like our votes are. All the votes so far for the Ash package. Okay. Ben said I should go on Knox and then pick Heimer and Nivea second. Ooh, that would have been good. Alright, looks like looks like we're going frozen solid. Alright, so we have an Ionia Freljord deck. All right, keep these votes coming. We're not really a an ephemeral deck. Shadow Fiend, Shadow Shift. It's not so great. Harsh Winds, still amazing. And Catalyst of Aeons, not very good. So we have an amazing card and a not very good card. And then we have two good cards here. Jewel Protector, very good. Will of Ionia, very good. You can kind of, you know, like if you're used to playing, um, if you're used to playing, Legends of Runeterra here. You can kind of see like what cards are used a lot in Constructed. You should probably be drafting those kind of thing. It's definitely between these. In my opinion, I think the Will of Ionia and the Jewel Protector is the way to go. Um, 
but I like Harsh Winds is is just as good as like these cards. It's just Catalyst of Aeons isn't really any good. Uh, giving your ally in, in hand plus three plus three is awesome. Yeah, buffing buffing Zed, buffing Shadow Assassin. Very good. You know, if we get some other um a you know elusive unit. But I need these votes. Where are these votes coming? We only got two votes so far. Where are these votes at? All right, there we go. Got a couple more. Got a couple more. Okay. So it looks like, looks like, yep, looks like we're going to go with this third column. Five to two. So yeah, all right. Should do it like where I won't take a pile unless we get at least five votes in it. That, seem, that seems like, maybe that's what we do, like the first one to five votes or, or something like that. We'll see. All right, we got Deathmark. Which, if we're not playing ephemeral units, isn't going to do very much. We do have the Zed to get an ephemeral unit, but that's it. And Usari. Well, Usari is a really good five mana elusive um, challenger card. So Usari is awesome, but Deathmark, not so much. This being a Piltover card, don't really want these. Freljord, we got Omenhawk, which is awesome. Elixir of Iron, awesome. Both of these, both of those cards are in the. Like basically what we're doing, we're kind of making the um, the Kinku Elusives deck. Yep, everybody's voting for this one. Good choice, good choice. Get those one drops. Okay, we got another Elixir of Iron. Good trick with a Battle Fury for the top end. We got Kinku Wayfinder which is awesome, and Solitary Monk, which is awesome. But, you know, we have to, if we take Wayfinder, that means we have to prioritize one drops more. Like, we want, we need to find, like, more Omen Hawks if we take Wayfinder. Um, yeah. And then we have Keeper of Masks, which is still a good a good two drop on the ground to block that also can pump up our elusive units in the air and another Shadow Assassin. Tough call. What do we got? Oh man, everybody likes that fifth call, that third column. All right, yeah, it's pick pick three again. Okay, we got ephemerals again. A shadow shift, shadow fiend. We can get a random um, shadow isles pile with hapless aristocrat and ancient crocolith. That's not a good one. And then, or we can get a life blade and a catalyst of aeons. Which I don't really want the catalyst of aeons. These are not the best. These are not the best. What do y'all think? Oh, I accidentally exited that window that I see the votes. Ooh, these votes are these votes are pretty close. We just got two and two. We're gonna need some more. Uh, basically, Shadow Fiend is is not really playable. I mean, sh yeah, Shadow Fiend and Catalyst. Neither of those cards are good. Kinku Lifeblade is the best card out of the four. We could use Shadow Shift as a trick, though. I guess we could even you know bounce. I mean, I got like Shadow Fiend is just like a play this and attack maybe keep them from attacking a little bit did the how the votes go down i've like oh the votes the votes are oh the votes are messing up they are aren't they yeah, it reset. That's weird. That's weird. All right, well, I guess we're taking this one. This one had more votes before, but that was weird. 
That was not a good, not a good bucket. We're hoping to do better than that. And uh, this we still go with the ephemeral stuff, shadow shift, dawn and dusk. We get a rhyme thing wolf, a sweet challenger, and an alpha wild claw, a good top end card. What we have right now, we have harsh winds. Or an inspiring mentor. Uh, so a not really that powerful one drop and a green glade elder um, to pump everything in hand and be another three drop. All right, everybody's voting the middle one. I like the middle one too. Yeah, like that feed. Yeah, something happened with the the thing with the vote for that last one. All right, well we can take a deny and a shadow shift or a yone. Yone is a whole lot better than shadow shift, by the way. Or rhyme tusk shaman and catalyst of aeons. So the problem here is rhyme tusk shaman is the best card, but catalyst of aeons is the worst card. And it's probably not that much better than Yone to, to pass up the Yone and deny. Yep. We got three votes so far. For this middle one. Let's keep those votes coming. Uh, there we go. All right, I got five votes. Oh, man. They keep on pairing this Rhyme Tusk Shaman with Catalyst of Aeons. Stop trying to give us Catalyst of Aeons. I just want the Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Uh, you know, Dawn and Dusk and Shadow Shift again. You know, this, this bucket again. So those two are buckets we've seen before. This one we have Conspirator, which is a great card whenever we have Omen Hawk on turn one, but not necessarily all the time besides that. And then Green Glade Elder, which... I mean, I actually kind of like Green Green Glade Elder. This is tough, though. Rhyme Tusk Shaman can just win games on its own. It is so powerful. It's a lot more powerful than either of these cards. It's just the two of these combined are probably... I don't know. The Catalyst is just such a dead card. We could, we could take this middle one and try to trade away the Catalyst. And just hope we don't draw it. Try to trade it away. These votes are resetting. What's going on with these votes? Oh, well, this this one had four. It was four to one with the votes. Um, yeah, that's... It's tough passing these Rhyme Tusk Shamans all the time. Oh, I think this is it. I think this is the time we finally take a Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Because now it's paired with Entreat, which it's Entreat isn't like special, but you know, two mana draw either Zed or Ash. It's playable. It's better than Shadow Shift. We already have a Shadow Shift anyway. We don't really need a Blade Scout. Um, we already have a Deny. Don't really need another Deny. Steel Tempest is kind of whatever. Yeah. All right, we're taking the Shaman. We got the five votes. Ooh. Um, Shadow Fiend with Keeper of Masks, two cards we already have. Harsh Winds, which is awesome, with Rhyme Fang Wolf. Now we're talking. Or Zephyr Sage and Navori Highwayman. Bleh. Um, yeah. We got five votes there pretty quickly. Health Potion? Under a card in Avalanche. We're not really an Avalanche deck or a Health Potion deck. Avarosen Outriders. We're not really an Avarosen Outriders deck. You know, we have a lot of Ionia stuff. Um, that is true. Entreat is better in Expedition more than Constructed. Especially early on when you only have the two champions and you can kind of try to trade it away later. She Who Wanders. Play Obliterate All Followers with four or less power in play and in hands. That probably is going to take out a lot of our stuff. We have Rush, Give Something, Quick Attack, and a Zephyr Sage. I have actually liked... Um, I actually have kind of liked Zephyr Sage. It looks like that's where the votes are going to. It plays better than what it looks. We did one time get two Zephyr Sages, and then we just went infinite with them. That was pretty sweet. All right, and so you have 
That's where the votes were. Ugh. All right. Uh, another, a second entry, which I don't really want the second entry. I like the first one, but I don't really want the second one. And Shatter is pretty slow. But if you're heavy Frostbite, it's good. Sparring student for another one drop. Right now we're at two one drops for the Conspirator. We could really use more one drops, I guess, for it. Keeper of Masks. Not a bad card. But there's also Shadow Assassin, which we know that card's amazing. And a Will of Ionia. Gotta get all the Assassins. Alright, yep, there it is. All right. I got, yeah, I got five, five to zero with the votes there. We have four Shadow Assassins now. Um, this is close. I I know which one I would pick. Um, you know, Green Glade Duo is amazing. This is an amazing card, but Recall, pretty meh. Bjerg, not bad. Wild Claw, very good. That's a good, good bucket for some top ends. Um, or we got Omen Hawk to get us another one drop so we can try to have the Omen Hawk Conspirator start and an Avarosan Sentry. Uh, a good two drop there. That's definitely the one that I think that we should take with the, the one and the two. Um, we already got a lot of sixes. We have four six mana cards. This is Sentry can play some defense on the on the ground while our air aerial assault wins. You think we need some more? Um you think we need some more top end? I don't know. We have Yone, Icy Yeti, Zephyr Sage, a couple harsh wins, a Wild Claw. We got some top end. It's a pretty close vote right now, though. Two to three with Bjerg and Omen Hawk. Now I'm just playing Legends of Runeterra. Ah, it keeps on resetting. All right, well, it went to two to four. So we're going to take the thing with four. Okay. So now our uh, pick to trade. Um, we can... Like, Shadow Fiend is just not a, a good card. And so Blade, I think that trading it for Blade Scout makes a lot of sense. Um, trading Rush for Averroes and Riders doesn't make a... I mean, it's it's fine. It's not a bad trade. Um, but it's, you know, they're about the same. Deny for Usari. They're kind of about the same also. That's also a fine trade. Like, I, I can see either way with these. But I think this first one's pretty important because the Shadow Fiend is just really bad. Yep. And that's the votes there. It's three, zero, one, two. Two people voting skip trade. Okay. That's that's pretty close. Let's get let's get a couple more votes because I guess it is three to two to one. Anybody else get get their want to get their votes in? What what to do? All right, pick one. All right, yep. People are voting for that top one. All right, here we go. All right, let's see how our deck does. We got some Freljord, some Ionia. We got the Elusive and Frostbite. Get rid of the seven drop. Get rid of this thing. Oh, Shaman is so good. But I should probably just mulligan it, not have it in my opening hand. But it is so good. I'll keep it. Ugh. Punished. Don't have a one drop to go with the Conspirator. That's okay, we can be a little slower. We're going to Shadow Assassin our opponent to death. Oh, now you want to join us. Omen Hawk. Oh, they have their Shadow Assassin, their three mana card that ETB draw card. I've got your back. We march. 
Hey Boots, doing good. Yeah, having a good stream so far. Uh, I guess we'll try that. All right, well, I should have blocked this 3-2 to begin with anyway the first time. I'll just block it now, but I should have blocked it the first time. I took three extra damage I didn't need to. They cannot hide. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Boo. Their guilt is evident. Four seven. They discarded that four Demacia. Gross. Gross. As the arrow flies. I protect my own. I know, right? They can't have elusives also. Cheats. It's cheats. Been a long path to get here. Um Sorry, elusives. I'm gonna have you block. Sure. That doesn't seem like the thing to save. Just a 3 3. Show them the way. Alright, that, clear that cleared up a little more space for me. That's pretty nice. So I have 9 mana. Don't really need to icy Yeti this turn. Stand together. You will not prevail. Um all right, do I let Ash die? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think the answer is no. I, th I think we do save Ash. Hey, Rex. That was um, three Libras by a perfect circle. Shadow Shift with Ash does work pretty well. I guess that is a thing. I guess that's a thing. Traditions are lost if not passed on. I will unite the frail yard. Areas. They are blocking these two they're blocking wrong. They should just have the two three block the one one because it, it won't take any damage at all, and then have the three three block the six six with the barrier. Cause then uh, then it's doing three damage to the to that thing. Game should be over. No. Stop trying to take my ash. So we'll just frostbite all those, they can't block. Alright, GG's. pretty sweet all right y'all get get your voting ready what champion are we adding are we adding another ash and an ice veil archer and a stalking wolf so get some more frostbite in there or we go zed with a fifth shadow assassin and then a dawn and dusk for the shadow assassins or a karma get a bunch of spells with another yone and a fifth shadow assassin. So get those votes in. Voting's not working for y'all. You can't just like go over here, click like the vote. Oh, I guess it's not working, is it? Huh. All right, well, yeah, I guess the buttons aren't working. So just in chat, we got an ash, an ash, ash, ash. 
So the first four people all just said Ash. So, all right, looks like we're going for another Ash. Fifth person said Ash. There we go, that's five. We're going for another Ash. So we got Frozen Elusives. Hey, Blade. Welcome back. We're doing good. Had a had a real long had a real long first expedition. There was a lot of intense games. They were real close. Fun one to play. And now we're just starting our second one. Got a, got our first win. I have my orders. Where's my axe? Courage masks the heart from fear. This'll shake him. Boom. Defy and resist. This keeper works out really well letting us trade like this. Damn it. That keeper was pretty awesome. Keeper of the winds. Now here comes our shadow assassins. Boom, boom. Whoa, happy birthday, Blade. We ride for no yeah, happy birthday, that's awesome. I need some jump blocking. Fight! Kinku holds back. And try to keep my life total high. But we're gonna just want to try to play a long game. You know, we got these assassins to keep on drawing more cards. Yeah, we have the Entreat to make sure we draw Ash. All right, I think we're doing just fine. We arrived as soon as we could. Good to fight by your side. So Ash turns into what? A Flash Freeze? I think that's pretty good. Because then we can, you know, cast a f cast like Ash as a Flash Freeze and then shuffle it in and try to get another Ash. They have what one mana? You cannot escape. Can I get punished for having this shaman block the two one? One mana? I, mean, I guess I can. Get punished for that. Bitter cold. I'm gonna do it instead of taking so much. I probably should have just throw my two two in front of that vanguard anyway. Yeah, they could have the plus one, plus one. They could have the, the one mana deal one damage. Rack. No one's the wiser. All the world on one arrow. Swiftly now. There is no shelter. Night falls. Even if they pump up the spider and kill my ash, we have the backup ash in hand. Oh. 
So I don't imagine we lose this. Yeah, Blade's Edge. Yeah, that card. I played it a little bit whenever we first, like, first, like, couple days. No going back. Hmm. Winter take you. Avarosa guide. Me. Yeah, Ramping Wolf is so gross. So like it I kind of want them to to attack with Katarina so that then I, you know, use these things and kill it. This is probably just the better play, though. Looking for a daring escape. As Noxus will. Basically, give them a chance to play another creature. Stun all enemies with power four or less. That's a bummer. Guess I should have just gone, gone to combat and won the game. Oh, gross. That's all right, the game's still over. None of those things can block. We have 10 power attacking, they're at nine. And we're two and oh. All right, what do we got for our trade? We can trade the Rush for a Marksman. We can trade away the Entreat and get a Sparring Student. Or we can trade the Keeper of Masks for a Jeweled Protector. The Keeper of Masks was really good that last game. Right now we got three one mana creatures. Like right now we have 24 units and nine spells. So like. So trading away spells for units, you know, makes that go in the wrong direction. Um, so I don't know if I love either of these, these trades. I could see trading and treat for sparring student. Give us another one drop. You think trade three? Um... Yeah, so I guess just in chat right there, just like slightly vented, just you can say either trade one, two, or three, or or no trade, if you want me to skip it. Don't have any fives, but the Keeper of Masks does work very well with the Conspirator and the Shadow Assassins and stuff like that. Yeah, the, the vote button isn't working, so you got to just type it here in chat. We got three skips, four skips, and one trade three. All right, we got four skips. We'll do that. Two and O. Oh. Everything must go. Once we pick up one more win, then we'll get another champion. 
So we got another Ash deck, but they got Callista. I guess Entreat does draw Ash. Ooh, I like this. The Keeper really helped us win that last match. It was real. It was really good. That last match that we had. You know, we were playing against the aggro deck where it's going to shine. Oh! I could have attacked for one. I thought for some reason they had the attack thing, but I did. See, the world grew new See, look at this. Now they can't just eat, eat something with their wolf. I don't know why I thought I could play that and then still have the rush available, but because I can't. Take you. Give me all these hairs, and I don't care. Good job, Blade. Got to plat two today. Nice. Good spot to be. <laughs> We're drawing all of our spells. We actually haven't we haven't gotten anything from the Omen Hawk yet. We played turn one Omen Hawk, and it's turn five, and we we haven't drawn any pumped up creatures or pumped up kicks. So they're just passing. That's, I think I'm going to have them waste their mana. Man, don't I, I have 24 units and 9 spells. So we've drawn 5 of the 9 spells so far. Thanks for that resub. Thanks, Roach, getting that sub in for eight awesome months now. Um, is that our first sub of the day? It looks like it. Yep. When I stop playing at Magic, uh, this. I don't know, this game came out. Um, and you know, after playing Magic for ten plus years, I found a found a better game. And I didn't think I'd ever say that. The order rewards its faithful. So I guess I'm going to just try to trade with this Skitter. I don't know. I wish I would have kept that Entreat and had that Entreat to go find the Ash, but it would have been hard to protect Ash. I 
I thought for sure that they were going to uh, play something there, how they're not really playing anything. So I guess I should have just rushed it. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have just used Rush. Um, I just thought, like, I, I cast Rush, like, for sure they're going to Frostbite. And so I thought I was just going to be using it for basically no gain. But, yeah, I guess I should have used it. Won't miss. King Goo holds fast. <laughs> Try to kill Ash. Time is right. Strike now. I'll lead us to victory. Yeah, no surprise there. Nothing escapes my wife. I don't like basically any options that I have. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Sure is dark, eh? All right, attack. Hey, what's that? So Will of Ionia keeps them from drawing two. I think that's worth it. I don't want them to draw two. I will. I'll keep them from drawing two. Boo, get, Gibson out, sub number 75 all time. Santa Boot. Getting Eric that sub. Thank you, Boo. And there you go, Eric. So we get another champion. So either an Ash or a Callista. We knew they had two Ashes, one Callista, because they they cast the they cast Ash's champion spell earlier to shuffle it back. Is this worth bouncing my Icy Yeti? Keep them from drawing a card? Yeah, 
Yeah, it is kind of a weird turn to arrow. This is the power of oh, they still draw a card? Come on. And it still f frostbites everything? Ugh. Well, that was just a complete waste. Stand together. So no, I should not have a Will of Ionian. Oh, so so y'all knew that was going to happen? Ugh. That wasn't good. and virtue make a true swordsman. Yes, yeah, so I wasted that Will of Ionia, which I didn't play it. attack with all these wolves. It's not cool. All right. Well, I guess that works. Swiftly now. This trade probably doesn't work right. Uh, ashes right. flash freeze. So we knew. So yeah, we knew they had either an ash or a Callista, So it makes sense they had a had an ash. Um, let's play that. Give them the hair. So now they can't play other creatures. So I hope they draw a creature. That's what I want them to draw as a creature. Walk your path. Alone. Really hope they drew a creature. In Avarosa's name. They cannot hide. Stay back. They drew a creature, we're looking pretty good. out of here they can like you know kill all my good stuff with these things but we have infinite shadow assassins
We both still have two champions left. They have one Ash, one Callista in their deck. I have two Ash still in mine. I don't think, don't think I've drawn an Ash yet. Actually, maybe I drew an Ash. I don't remember, I guess. All right, so we're just going to trade off all that stuff. Not the Elder. Infinite Shadow Assassins. How do we have? We have either four or five. Ooh, that's a good card. Let's just attack on in, though. Get these two last. Okay, go up to seven. That's still me attacking for lethal, and we got it. My opponent got too many of those Catalysts of Aeon in their deck. Card did not help. Yeah, Henzo, yeah, I had MTG in my uh, stream name. And and so I wanted a, a different stream name where I didn't have um, any specific game in it. You know, I didn't want to put LOR in my stream name either. I just wanted a, a generic stream name. Okay, let's see. What do y'all think we should get? So y'all, you know, vote for which one we should get. I know which one I would vote for. Let's see if the voting works now. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks like the voting's work working. Um, Ash, still awesome. Rhyme Tusk Shaman is incredible. And we get a Flash Freeze, a good trick. Love this bucket. Zed is really good, and so is Green Glade Duo, so is Usari. This is a very good bucket, too. Um, you know, it is more units where we already got a good amount of units, but it's a good bucket, too. And then Karma, Jewel Protector, and Yone, those are all good cards, too. So there's no bad cards out of these nine, which that's good. That's good. All right, does, actually, voting is not working, it looks like. So there we go. Yeah, so in chat, you can just say which, which champion you think we should take, Ash, Zed, Karma. Yeah, I would go with getting another Ash, and that's what Over Hamster says, so does Pools. All right, we got five people voting for Ash, so we'll take it. But probably never die. I always vote for Karma plus good cards, regardless of sy synergy. Makes sense. Karma plus good cards. Karma is awesome. Makes sense. Keep these two. I could, I could see him sending back the flash freeze also. They'll never see me coming. Dream start. I'm what nightmares fear. My gun does the talking. Defy and resist. All 
All right, got sent out of here. I'm going to use the Entreat, draw a champion. And so we'll just play this thing. Get rid of the hair. Soldier, me. No, Zed, not Ash. I have three Ashes and one Zed. I wanted Ash. Five five tough. Built forward. So should we do we pump up the Zed or do we pump up Wild Claw? I guess we pump up Zed. Yeah, I guess we pump up Zed. Oh yeah, this this album's amazing, Pools. This is this is definitely an album that I used to listen to all the time in like high school. I've got your back. I think so. Sorry, Wolf. You're gonna have to be sacrificed for us to attack with the Zed. E3 is canceled. I'm in my mid 30s. I am old. I did not hear E3 was canceled. I'm also not acutely aware of what E3 is. I would assume that'd be like Entertainment 3. I'm actually here. Is that like where Is that like where they like show a bunch of video games and stuff? Like where like the new video games are all previewed and things like that, like big convention. Is that E3? Okay. Well, that's a bummer. That's canceled. Down here, it's kind of locally. I mean, it's Austin, which is a couple hours down the road, but, you know, South by Southwest was canceled. And that's that was a big economic thing for um, for Austin for sure. It's a big hit. I probably should have played the Yone. They have the four Demacia. Show them on metal. Probably should have played Yone here. I was thinking of playing Yone, you know, offensively, not defensively. 
And so playing it next turn. Yeah, I wish I would have played it. Giving me like this side look. But there she is. She's right there. She's just behind me. And Harvey's curled up. Oh, I didn't want to say her name. She's kind of curled up here. You can't, you can't quite see her. But she's curled up pretty funnily. I need to get a I need to get a sec so I have yeah with those dog beds I have one dog bed in the living room like kind of under the TV the blade above and I have one of those dog and I have the one dog bed in here but I kind of need a second one in here too so you know because they they switch off of who's in it and maybe even a second one in the living room too so they each get one in both places it was like the thirteen dollar dog bed at PetSmart. Oh wait, no, that one. No, the other one's the PetSmart one. That one is the Walmart one. They're like the same price. I actually have never. I've never gotten. I've never done crates. I've never had either of my dogs in a crate. Actually. All right, so trades. Um, Elixir of Iron's pretty good, but it is no Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Rhyme Tusk Shaman is amazingly powerful. I have like the Shadow Shift. <laughs> yeah i was pretty fortunate so like whenever whenever the two dogs were like younger like they were both stray dogs whenever i lived out on like basically some farmland here in texas like i just had a couple acres and they're both stray dogs and i like they actually just stayed outside um and so they just lived outside for a few years and so i never really had to create them and by the time they started coming inside they were like they didn't really want to come inside at first. They were like scared of inside, but they love it in here now. Like they're they're used to it and everything. But um, we're just gonna do this middle trade. But uh, they've been so well behaved and everything. They got rid of the, you know, like the all the energy whenever they're younger of like running around tearing everything up because they would just you know, run around for acres at a time and, you know, like they would just be gone all day, like while I was at work and stuff. They'd just be out exploring. Let's see. Elise Draven. So I couldn't be happier with how they've really acted inside.
You won't suffer long. They're already going wide. We got one of their champions out of here. This is kind of rough. So I'm going to need to harsh winds next turn. Ouch. Ouch. Well, order rewards its faithful. See the world through new eyes. You know, could have attacked for four more damage, but you know, my plan was to play the jewel protector this this past turn. If I fall, so Kinku, hold fast. It's too late for you. You cannot escape. Lead the target. Okay. Master. Not dead yet. Show them the way. Not dead yet. Doing a good job going wide. Doing a real good job going wide. So very foreign to them. I feel like I need to kind of match them going wide also. I need to put more bodies out here.
don't like where I'm at right now. I am the blade in the darkness. I don't like where I'm at one bit. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. So I'm assuming they just go straight to attacks. Rhyming Wolf, you would have been a lot better the previous turn. So we're bouncing that thing. Um, <laughs> Don't want killing trouble. that. Killing this. Killing that. Killing this. Killing that. Defy and resist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not doing so bad now. We're starting to stabilize. This is one big ash. Draven time. Faster than my arrow? I'm not really craving Draven time. I stand for Noxus. I gotta work with this Joker. Yep, sure do. All right, so we're gonna have take that. Do not that. deny me. I think we may get this. I think we can get this. Embrace the shadow. Come closer. I don't. We came out to a fast start, but we did a good job of of uh, stabilizing. Sacrifice for a greater. Oh come on, a six-five elusive! They just won. Are you kidding me? They get a, a random follower from any region that costs two more mana than the other thing they just got um yeah i can't i can't do anything my aim is true crazy man we like stabilized and then they just suddenly get the six five elusive so random That was unfortunate. Yeah, that's a feels bad. Bleh. All right, I don't think we do any of these trades. I don't think we need Battle Fury, and I don't think we should trade like these tricks for more units when we're a three to one unit to trick right now. Um, deny and will of Ionia. I have one deny, two will of Ionia. I think that's a good, good ratio to have instead of zero and three. So I'll skip. 
No, I'm not. I'm not a rope them kind of person. And plus, especially not like streaming. Like, one, I just don't do that because I just move on with life. But, um, but uh, but two, you know, like that's not a, a good. That's not good for streaming. Y'all just sitting here watching that. Thanks, Melrex. Yeah, I, I don't think. Yeah, I think. I think I played that really well. That's a. I think I played that game really well to stabilize and everything, but I just, you know, it happens. Turn five board of Elnux I ran into, yeah. That'll happen. Who does not know the name wrong? Who doesn't know the Run name Laurent? I, mean, I, I don't. I walk the space between worlds. Aberosan, stand together. Sweet. All right, one Shen down. Yeah, two underpowered champions here with Shen Callista. So this challenger has forced me to use the flash freeze and forced me to trade away my rhyme, rhyme thing wolf. Rhyme Tusk Shamans. And I can do that pretty freely pre-combat here because they play a creature. I'm just going to the eye of frostbite it. Immediately. So yeah, like we still did the 10 damage anyway. And we put 4 damage on their Shen. Yeah, we're definitely looking great this game. I guess I'm a little scared of ruination, I suppose. Victory lies ahead. Yes, I should be. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. Enforced equilibrium. It's too late for you. Your place is still in the mortal world. Cover reinforcement. I probably should just be playing the Keeper of Masks. Yeah, because they're, they're just not going to be able to block. Ash will flip. D and G. And we're 5 and 1. Do we trade Zephyr Sage for Shadow Assassin? And get Shadow Assassin number 
five. Um, I could see trading the Conspirator for the Usari also. Honestly, Usari is maybe a better card, especially with our, our Frostbite stuff. Yeah, actually, we probably want to do that last trade. Cause we Unless we have one of our one drops, which we only have three of, the Conspirator is, in, is pretty slow. You vote Trade Keeper for Will of Ionia? I don't know. We already have the two. I, I don't think we need more Will of Ionias. Go for Batman. Your order has thrust us from our lands. You've proved your power, Master Zed. Now let me prove that I, too, am worthy of your teachings. Oh, is the voting working again now? It wasn't working for a while. Is the voting working again on there? No, yeah, I see it says zero votes. Everywhere. Yeah, it keeps resetting. So you have to just vote it in chat. So we have one vote for the second one, Keeper for Will. We have one vote for Usari. Take the removal. Uh, what does that mean? Are you counting Will of Ionia or Usari as removal? Got another vote for Usari. Oh, wait, no, that was the same vote. Okay, trade three, so that's two. So, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good trade. I think Usari with Ash, I think that's a good follow-up to turn four Ash, turn five Usari. Getting that challenger in there. Psycho Nitro. I could see Shadow Shift being pretty awesome. I mean, I don't, I don't hate this hand. I really don't hate the Greenglade Elder either. Because Shadow Shift protects Ash. Yeah, like right now, like I wish I, I wish I would have kept Shadow Shift. Yeah, this is a lot worse. Yeah, Elder buff Ash. Yeah, I, I wouldn't hate that either. I, w I wish I would have kept those. Yeah, I wish I would have just kept both of those Elder and Shadow Shift. That would have been nice. All right, so we're going to be behind. I'm going to just play the Wolf and try to kill their Battlesmith and just try to trade. See how powerful Battlesmith is. One way to test them out. But I guess with that being said, it doesn't matter if they make their things bigger. If we use Rhyme Tusk and Ash to give them zero power and then use the wolf to kill them. Let's see what they do. To cook it.
I wish I would have kept some spells. Or that we draw some spells. I'd honestly be pretty surprised if we win this one. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. I will unite the frail yard. Feel the sizzle! Can't fight on an empty stomach! What do they have? Barrier? Something better? Show me a target. Still didn't draw anything to protect oh, Ash. Smith, not a soldier. That's pretty good. I've got your back. The order rewards its faithful. Winter take you. That's pretty good. Come on, draw spells. Dang. Just too many creatures. I've drawn a single spell the entire game. Honor guide me. Batter him. Eat up, friend. Protect the villages. A spell, I suppose. The shrouded path. I walk your path alone. Play my part. So I guess I'm chump blocking the Senna. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. The frost reveals all to me. Because I could have had the Stalking Wolf just kill the Senna. And then it would have been a, a chump block, and they would have just had the 1-1. One, one. That's what I... Yeah, that's what I should have done. I should have had Stalking Wolf attack Senna.
That's a bad attack. Yeah, they're about to have war chefs on the far right. Yeah, reinforcements is tough because that's two bodies. I mean, that's just tough for a lot of reasons, but. Head to the base. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Yep. <clears throat> I figured it out. Yeah, that was a horrible hand by us. You can't, you can't have zero tricks. Zero spells and just win by just playing creatures. It's not going to happen. Especially when they curve out like that. Um, don't really love any of these trades. I think the middle one is probably the best. Getting rid of the Blade Scout, taking the Flash Freeze gives us another spell. Yeah, I think the middle one's probably the best, but it does take out does take out a one drop. Um, but I think that we probably need this Flash Freeze. Yeah, yeah, we need to just take this Flash Freeze. We need to get rid of a unit for a spell. That's the only one that did the get rid of a unit for a spell. And it's not like that that two ones really win in any games for us. You think I should have skipped? I really probably shouldn't be mulliganing Ash, should I? I feel like our deck's getting worse. Today you are King Ku. What is this? Yet again, just as the exact same thing we just had last time. The exact same problem. There's just no, there's no spells here. I guess that's a spell. It's an expensive one, but I guess it's a spell. All right, so they're going to use Barrier to kill my Zed. But I don't think that we just pass, considering passing. But I think we let them do that. It's still, you know, it's a one-for-one -one trade, and we do five damage to them. And you know, we trade Barrier for Zed. Making the dead deader. All right, so just gonna, you know, take the hit here. Think before you strike. The final lesson. Get some larger creatures. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Help us play some defense. Yeah, that, that does feel kind of weird that Sen is not a champion, isn't? doesn't it? Sen chills up my spine. Let the light guide you. Man, I'm one mana short from playing Wolf and Harsh Winds. 
That would really be nice. They're out there. I'll spot them. A beacon in battle. Look out for reavers. Light the signal fires. All the world on one arrow. Ice runs in our veins. I could see them casting for Demacia. It gives them the final spark and it flips Lux. One banner, one destiny. Show me a target. Try me, I dare you. Good news, their their main defense is barrier, and barrier doesn't save. <clears throat> Doesn't save Ash. We should be killing Ash. Or sorry, Lux. We should be killing Lux because Barrier doesn't save from the Rhymefang Wolf. So this should hopefully work. That's really nice having a spell at least. Ugh. I guess the guy detained. Well, oh, that makes my life worse. Yeah, Repost would have saved her, that's true. Soldier, to me! Trying to stay alive, but this is not easy. Not easy at all. The order rewards its faithful. The dark beckons. The frost reveals all to me. Um, 
think I just do this and then I don't risk losing the ash. I guess I don't really risk losing the ash because of the shadow shift, but still. That is true. I can. It's not bad. Let's let's just entreat this. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we are getting an ash. Okay. Show me a target. They cannot hide. I kind of want to attack with this keeper. Just get this keeper out of here, but that's probably not smart. Down. I want to rally. I didn't really realize that. The <clears throat> didn't realize that Lux was gonna be transforming. That's a good play. Good play by them. That was a good play by them saving that Lux. Words move oh man. Armies. Be strong. These are dark times. That was a good draw. Poor Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Lux, why are you so good? My shield is yours. Demacians protect each other. True power requires restraint. Good job, Yone. Boo. Courage, soldier. Doesn't look great. I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't look great. The time is right. Strike now. Kinku, hold fast. That first, we got this back because this, we got this other one back because it was detained. No more holding back. I'm what nightmares fear. 
This Dawn Speakers is incredible also. Our allies did not fall in vain. Yeah, exactly. Yep, that's yep, that's the plan is try to get seven elusive damage on here, put them down to three, try to keep the three three elusive alive. Um and finish them with the three three elusive. Continue without me. I'm gonna let Ash die and clear out that spot and be able to play the shaman. Oh man. That doesn't really make things get better. Of an ice shrouded world. Be strong. These are dark times. That's a good draw. This game's been so intense. Dude, this game Legends of Ruterra is amazing. Just all the games we've been playing today have just been so intense and so close. Every decision matters so much. Now either this 3-3 three, three hits and we win, or the 2-2-2s two, two, hit and Today we win. We turn the tide of war. Our allies did not fall in vain. I will play my part. We did it! Wow. Wow, we did it. We are six and two. It does sound like it's like right out here. Is somebody mowing my grass? Oh no, that's the person right across the street. This is kind of loud. Okay. Um, we could trade Rush for Deny. Eh. Trade a Sentry for a Life Blade. Meh. Trade Elder for Will of Ionia. Meh. All these trades are kind of meh. Elder was honestly pretty nice for us that last game. With that sizing.
I do only have the 10 spells, but I, I do think my curve is pretty high. I don't know if I really want to keep increasing my curve, and that's all these trades do or increase curve. Oh, we are six and two. Oh, so we, yeah, we're, go we're going on to the final boss. All right, we'll skip these. Thanks, pools. GG's. That was, that was awesome. I think you may be a little behind the pools if you want to refresh. But yeah, that was pretty awesome. See, I didn't like any of these trades. Like, Archer for Assassin. Assassin's kind of better, but, you know, if you look like, kind of rather have the two than the three. And, you know, Archer helps with some of our stuff. I don't love Shadow Shift. Empyreon may be better. Um, but the Shadow Shift has been okay. I think this is the only one that, that I'm considering. I don't want to do, I don't want to trade the two for the three. The only one that to kind of consider is the shadow shift for Empyrean. That's the only one that's a, a maybe. You like shadow shift? You can skip again. Yeah, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking the shadow shift. I do like the being able to attack in with Ash with you know get the frostbite. They block and try to kill Ash, and then you shadow shift away your Ash. I do kind of like that. All right, we'll we'll skip. We finally found a trade down, deny for Blade Twirler, but we're not a stun recall deck, so I don't want to do that trade. I don't, want, I don't want to do any of these trades. This is just going to be another skip. I don't want to do any of these. I mean, Protector for Battle Fury? No. I'm not trading Shaman. Zephyr Sage for Solitary Monk. Wild Claw for Dawn and Dusk. Dawn and Dusk, if it resolves on Ash, would be insanely powerful. Ash, Dawn and Dusk. That'd be super powerful. Yeah, after Wizard, absolutely. I'll switch those, I'll switch those for you. We'll do Wayfinder last. And Noxious Burn. There you go. No problem. Uh, I feel like it's, a, I feel like this is kind of a sign of more, of poor trades, but I guess, I guess our deck is pretty good. That is true. There's like a lot of things I wouldn't mind trading away though. Like I wouldn't mind trading the Zephyr Sage, but I don't know if I really want Solitary Monk. I kind of think I want Dawn and Dusk more than Wild Claw. What do y'all think? It's the thing is, is Dawn and Dusk is very vulnerable to you know like a removal spell or a deny, but I think it's more vulnerable and constructed than in these expeditions. Dawn and Dusk on any of these things, um, not really Shaman, but on Usari, on Ash, on Zed. Um, you know, on even like Rhyme Thing Wolf. On a Yone. That'd be kind of cool. Wild Claw's a good body, though. I'm going to do. I'm going to try this Dawn and Dusk. Even Dawn and Dusk on. Like, uh. Shadow Assassin still makes it a draw too. You like Wild Claw more? Cause, you know, like when you have like put out like two assassins just to, to do some chump blocks and then draw two. I don't know. This is a tough one. I 
I think I want the Zephyr Sage more than the Monk with how many millions of threes that we have. I want to just start dropping um, all these Shadow Assassins and everything right away. I don't know. Let's flip a coin. I'm going to take the Dawn and Dusk. All right, well, now I can trade that Dawn and Dusk and get a Stalking Wolf instead. I can trade my Entreat away and get another Shadow Assassin. I'm not doing the last trade. Would it be better just to get a, another Stalking Wolf? I could see trading the Dawn and Dusk for a Stalking Wolf. I'm going to keep the Entreat. I'm going to keep that too. Let's skip it. Let's go. Final boss. Let's go. Final boss playlist. We lost last time to the final boss. So we only got six wins. We got to win this one. Get our seventh win. Let's go. Trying to find an opponent. In queue, waiting for opponent. Oh man, Heimerdinger Karma. Wow, those are those are some really good champions. This is probably going to be a kind of game where if they draw their champions, it's going to be really tough for us. If they don't, we have a good shot. Those are two of the very best champions in the game. See the world through new eyes. Silent as death. <laughs> Those are rookie champs. Shadow. The balance wills it. We are up a card on that exchange. good for us as long as they don't draw their champions maybe they don't have any karmas or heimerdingers wonder if that's possible faster than my arrow i think not They get rid of the key guardian. I was hoping they were like gonna play something and tap out, and then I was gonna be able to slam the Rhymefang Wolf and and kill their five five before they realized that I was gonna be able to kill their five five. Ah, the sweet smell of silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Tales of our past are seeds for our future. Hibernator is nowhere near fair. Nowhere near fair. You cannot escape. Can you still rise? The bug list. <sighs> All right, hopefully this works. nothing without purpose that was not exactly fair either stop the order Looks like we got two six win leagues. Karma Heimerdinger, too strong. Can't think of any outs. Any like good lines. I think this is my best line, but it's not a good one. I think it's my best.
Darn. Our last match was rough. Opponent's deck was amazing. All right, two six winners. So no, we got the golden chest and the champion card instead of the champion um, capsule. So we got, as far as in the golden chest, a feral mystic, a heart of the flift, some, and some shards. Our random champion is a Shen. And then 1,500 shards. Um, uh, no, Ryu. Could you, would you mind uh, linking that? If you have it. But anyway, so there we go. Another six win expedition. So two, you know, two really good hard fought expedition, expeditions, both over two hours long. You know, together we've been streaming for five hours now for just the one expedition. That's the thing about these drafts. You know, like they can be really, really long. Like that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, play time that you get for one for just one draft, one entry fee. Um, and it's so so much good practice and everything like that. Um, but there we go. So that's that's our second expedition. Uh, definitely a fun one there. Uh, so close to that seven win, but not quite. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, you know, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of these expeditions, and you know, how are you liking Legends of Runeterra expedition? I've been loving them; they're so much fun. But we got a couple of constructed decks to play now, so that's what we're going to be doing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.